Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. Today we're gonna try to eliminate this really annoying check airbag light. Ugh. All right guys, before we get started on today's project, I just want to give you guys a huge shout out. Thank you so much for all your views, all your comments, all your likes. You guys keep me motivated. And not only do you watch my videos, but you send me stuff. So right now I want to give a huge shout out to Ben for this inflation gauge. Thank you so much, Joe Craven, for this delicious Viking mead. And this video is brought to you by Jordan, who sent me an airbag module. So thank you so much, Jordan. You're the reason why this video is happening. And also thank you for the badass stickers. So since we're gonna be dealing with an airbag, first thing we're gonna do is pop the hood and disconnect the battery. All right, let's do this. Before you do an airbag module project, you're gonna need a new airbag module. More on that in a second. You're also gonna wanna empty your center console. Ooh, money. And uh, if it's on a hot day, you're gonna wanna open up these windows before you go ahead and disconnect the battery, which is what we're about to do right now. You don't want to smother yourself. <laughs> Too hot for that. So we'll go ahead and pop open this hood. I got my 13 millimeter for these new terminals I installed recently. Go ahead and loosen this up. <laughs> it's hard to, to wrench when you're holding money. Not that I do that a lot. If you're a Jeep man like myself, then you are broke because you know what Jeep stands for. Just empty every pocket. <laughs> there we go. Put that off to the side. Now we will go in and remove that airbag module. Give me that nickel. Give me that. Alright, next, just gonna take off this trim, move this cup holder over here, we'll put our screws in that, and we can take out the screws. So we'll start with these Phillips here. Got my little impact with a long extension. Take these two out. Cup holder, move down here. cup holder now I went and added another bit extender because we got to go into here take out these screws take out the guts and that exposes a couple more screws down there There, once you got those five inner screws removed, that should be it. You go ahead and lift this console up from the back, give it a good jiggle, and it should start coming up. All right, now you gotta stomp your brake, turn the key on the run position, we're gonna move the shifter into neutral, we're gonna move the transfer case into neutral, and we're gonna go ahead and lift up the e-brake, and now, with one hand, we should be able to kinda just wiggle up this console nice and easy there we go i'm going to switch to two hands so i can catch ah there we go still kind of one-handed and i'm just gonna rest it right over here ta-da simple enough and now we could go pick up all these screws we dropped and once you've collected all your screws, the next step is going to be to remove these four 10 millimeter fasteners right over here. But before we go any further, don't forget to put everything back into park. You don't want this thing to roll on you. If you want, you could chalk the wheels. That would be smart. But now we could remove our foot from the brake pedal and go get some more tools. All right, I've replaced my Phillips bit with a good old 10 millimeter. And now we're just going to bang out these screws right here. There, easy peasy. The airbag module is now free. Slide these little red tabs, little locks out. You could try to do this with one hand. I'm usually good at it. Not today, airbag. Got it. <laughs> All right, here is the old airbag module. This has been giving me the airbag warning light. Now there has been a factory recall with a lot of these airbag modules. I'm not exactly sure which serial number there are, but check your dealership, have them run your VIN and see if they could tell you if you get a new airbag module. 
Now here is a 2004 airbag module. Now apparently in 2004 they fixed that issue. <laughs> the issue was that some of these airbag modules was causing the airbags to deploy, causing injury to drivers who were driving it at the time of the deployment, which is crazy. Reminds me of what happened to Andy and his XJ. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> what the heck? How does this happen? If you haven't seen that airbag video for XJs, go check that out right now. But since we got a 2004 module, this should fix the problem. Now, I'm not sure exactly what is what, but I do know that there are different types of airbag modules. Maybe it's because there's different trim levels with Laredo's and with these Limiteds. Um, this one has black connectors. And I know there are some out there with gray connectors that will not fit. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you get the same color connector. That's the only way I know how to tell the ones that will fit for your WJ. So we're going to try this out, see if it works, and then uh, we'll put everything back together. Click, click. Simple as that, guys. Put that in. All right, let's connect the battery, see if this works. Well, we connected the battery and nothing exploded so far, so that's a good sign. All right, that's a little tight. Now, auto start. We're going to remote start this thing. This way, if anything blows, it won't be in our face. So here we go. Yay, no deployment. Check it out, guys. Airbag light is off. Yeah, baby. Thank you, Jordan. <laughs> that is so sweet. All right. Let's go ahead and pop in these screws. We'll refasten the new airbag module right down from whence she came. guys now that we know everything works we could go ahead and reinstall everything in reverse order of how we remove them easy peasy stuff we'll slide this into place there we go make sure the seat belts aren't in the way bring this sucker down Get to line up these little plastic flaps underneath this trim over here. Makes a nice, good weather tight seal for weather. <laughs> uh, there we go. Line this up with the holes. Line this up with the holes. Wiggle that console back into the uh, spot clearly marked by the coffee stains. Perfect. Zips right in there. Beautiful back in the park make sure all these holes line up down here excellent all right time to reinstall the screws And we are done. Beautiful. Ah, what the heck. One more check. <laughs> that is just lovely. Well, there we have it, guys. Another notch in the WJ belt with the successful airbag module swap. I am so happy. I am so grateful. The good Lord has blessed me with great jeeps and great youtube channel subscribers so thank you very much jordan this one's for you and uh that's it guys remember to like subscribe and i will see you guys on the next project peace want to see what happens when you misalign your center console peekaboo <laughs> looks like we got to take this apart again unless <laughs> it works. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs>